no sleep, no rest. Bro, we are less than a day away for the trailer, and I can't even get a good night rest. So, Studio Series Orion Packs has been leaked. Yeah, um, this is Studio Series apparently. Uh, it, honestly, when I first saw this, it kind of looked like a mainline figure, but this is our first look at Orion Pax slash Optimus Prime. Well, this is Orion Pax, because, you know, Orion Pax and Optimus are going to be two separate characters in the movie. Whatever. Look, I'm really tired, so I'm just going to make this video, short video. Not even going to edit it, because we're going to get to it tomorrow, so I need better save all my energy for that. So, here's my own rambling thoughts on, like, the new Studio Series reveal. We have, of course, the vehicle mode. Again, as you can see it right here. Shout out to TF Hype Guy for, um, basically informing us of this. Um, the Sabatronian vehicle mode looks a lot like the evergreen design. You know what I mean. You know, the evergreen we all seen everywhere. Um, it looks kind of cool. It doesn't have any wheels, at least not that I see from here. It almost looks like it's floating in the air, which reminds me an awful lot of the War for Sabatron Optimus, actually. So, yeah, um, it's very interesting. Also, I don't know if it's just me, but the faceplate there looks like it can be removed. So, yeah, it looks like we're going to have Optimus Prime showing his smile in the movie, which, I mean, I... I don't know if I really knew that we're gonna do that. The sketch just kind of gave it away. I don't know why people are so surprised, but it's whatever, I guess. Interestingly enough, his Energon Axe is blue this time around, which it's an interesting choice. I don't know how I feel about that entirely, but overall, he looks pretty good. Definitely lines up with the little toy we saw all the way back at CinemaCon, which was a few days ago. Um, I'm thinking it's the same toy. It almost looks like the exact same toy. Now, the Studio Series... Toys are potentially going to be revealed in a couple of hours soon, so we're probably going to get them alongside the trailer. This is just thing, the first thing that got leaked. Also, something else I want to say is that I just love the creativity with just the sign. Like, smokestacks on Sabatron don't make any sense, so in the truck form, it gets recontextualized, not the li like little blasters that he uses to fire stuff. That's actually so cool and super creative. I like that quite a bit. There is some nice weapon storage in the back with the axe there that's also kind of cool. I do like how this vehicle mode overall feels very alien, but you can still tell it's a truck. That's actually one of my biggest problems with the War for Sabaton trilogy. Besides the Seekers, which I thought they were perfect, um, I didn't like how a lot of the Sabatronian vehicle modes just look like Earth vehicles but with minor differences. Uh, Prowl was a perfect example of that. Like, it almost looks like something you will find on Earth, not exactly an alien vehicle. But this is like a mix of, it's alien enough to the point I can tell it's not from Earth. But at the same time, you know, I can still tell it's a truck. And I think that's how, you know, vehicle modes and alien, you know, vehicle and machinery should be handled in general when it comes to sci-fi movies and stuff like that. If I can tell what it is just by looking at it and it doesn't look Earth enough, then that's a good design in my opinion. And I think this succeeds at it. Now, as for the robot mode, again, it's a really cool design. There's not much to say about this aside from the fact that it looks very G1-ish. I seen people kind of complain about the shoulders. They say that it's one of those shoulders that it's kind of very hard to move around and articulate. And you know that might be the case. They are also like very big and stuff. Also, wait, actually, I just noticed something. Um, look, I know I was operating with a base sketch, but this is somehow looks a bit similar to that sketch I made a while back of how Transformers One or Iron Pack is gonna look like, and it looks like I wasn't too far off. So, play the music. But overall, this is a really solid design, in all honesty. I guess we're gonna have to wait for Prime vs. Prime to, you know, leak the figure early, or for someone to, like, or for Hasbro to release some in-hand images of him with better pulsing, so we can see how much articulated his arms can be. Because this doesn't exactly tell us much about the figure. Now, I know what you guys are asking. Fire, will you be getting this figure? I mean, I already have a lot of Primes. I don't have an Orion Pax though, so I'm guessing this technically is a different figure. So I might get it, but I'm not sure. But I'm just saying, if you guys want to help me, you know, purchase an Orion Pax, uh, the Patreon is always available. But yeah, but overall, it's a pretty interesting design. I was expecting something a bit skinnier or slender, because that's why we've been hearing all about when it comes to Transformers 1, that the designs look very strange and out there, but this looks pretty traditional. And you know what? I'm actually, I actually like it. I don't mind that the traditional thing are not bad. I think this Optimus Prime looks pretty good. It's an interesting take for the Optimus design. Well, I keep saying Optimus, it's Orion Pax, but I honestly like it quite a bit. I think it looks pretty cool. I do, I, I, I 100 percent call it now. Faceplate is removable. You, like, I feel like it's almost like the last time Megatron toy, which you can kind of remove the faceplate and you know it reveals his face. Guarantee you that's a thing that this toy does. But 
Yeah, I'm really liking it so far. Again, trailer will drop in a couple of hours, so I'm just gonna make this quick video. Probably not even gonna edit it that much. And then go back to sleep, because I am tired. But yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. How do you feel about the Orion Pax review here? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Is this what you were expecting? Are you disappointed, surprised, whatever? Let me know all about it in the comments down below. You can tell I'm just very tired, and that's when I get this over with. And yeah, I'm actually gonna do that right now. So yeah, that's it, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. Do all that knowing YouTubers stuff that the algorithm likes so much. And I'll see you guys in a couple of hours. Bye, guys. Anyways, guys, before we go, shout out to our super incredible Patreons and channel members. Scout, James Newbold, Crawley666, TF Cypher, Legend of Soup, King Sparta, Crazy T-Rex, Orino64 Studios, Winso Winso, Inferno65, Super Sailor's former Hedgehogs, Moriarty, Ray Dude, Toby David Dale Smith, <gasps> Xavier the God, Stage Productions, Drake the Horror 45, Scrub Lordo, and Predator King Hunter Plays. And also our channel members. Scrub Lordo, Obstination Reviews, TF Cypher, Laser Sin, The Crazy T-Rex, and Lord Skywarp. And Surprise Cheetor. Thank you guys for your support, it's much appreciated. If you become a channel member or a patron, you get access to exclusive videos I haven't released yet. You get to collab with me in some of my videos if you so choose to, and access to channel exclusive emojis, and a bunch of other stuff. You also get a shout out to your channel in the description down below, so be sure to check out those guys, because a lot of them are up and coming YouTubers who need all the help they can get. But keep in mind this is entirely optional, because freedom is the right of all sentient beings. Thank you guys for your support, it's much appreciated, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys!